Hey, it's a wonderful Monday. Just hit the gym, focusing on back, trying to get my back healthy, get my back strong, uh, working on my core. I, I have to start doing cardio at some point. It's just it's just atrocious. The the inability of my lungs to keep up with movement over time. It's just awful. So yeah, I don't. Know. Anyways, um, super excited. I have I have a bid out to cut down 17 trees, cut down 17 trees. I'm very excited about it. It's through a business associate of mine who doesn't want to do it, but he, it's his client, so he's managing it. I'm pumped. I gave him my price. We, we can work on some stuff um, as far as whether or not you know, he wants to add on a 10% fee or just I just pay him 10%, which I'm happy to do it. And here's the reason why. Um, I've decided for myself, this is going to sound oxymoronic what I'm about to say, but I've decided for myself that I'm not going to do discounts anymore. Um, the last job I did, I made good money, but uh, distant distant relative somehow, I think through marriage, just cutting through marriage or whatever, but had a tree that had fallen down in his yard. He needed it cut up and thrown back into the woods so he could mow. I just did it for him for free because on the other job, I think I made like $1,000. But really, I should have charged him. Uh, I'm happy to do that for him. He, he, good guy. But th the thing is, is that w at the level that I'm at as a handyman or, you know, a, you know, a business owner, I guess, um, any opportunity that I can make money ethically, I need to do that. And if I'm discounting, trying to be nice to people, ultimately I'm hurting my family financially. Even if I'm I'm making great money, it's irrelevant. Any opportunity that I get to make money, I need to because it's for my wife and my children. You know, I, I don't really, I don't really do a lot with the money f as far as what I want to do. I, I, I'm trying to pay debt off. I'm trying to, you know, build retirement. I, I don't want to be um, like so many people in my parents' generation where they aren't ready for retirement and ultimately they can't leave a financial legacy because they didn't really, you know, plan for it. So many people in the baby boomer generation are that way. So I, I don't want to do that. Now, this is where it's oxymoronic. Having said that, when there's enough meat on the bone where you can be competitive and still get the business and still be profitable, you should, in my opinion. So th this bid is 17 trees. I think the shortest one's like 50 feet tall. It it's going to be a job. It'll probably be It'll be at least five days of work with my guys doing it. Um, I'm probably going to knock them all down if we get it. I'm going to knock them all down, and then I'm going to have my guys cut them up and throw them into the roll-off, and I'm going to go do other work to try to offset the labor that I'm paying for them, but go make money on the side for myself doing simple hauls, cleaning gutters, etc. cetera. Anyways, um, normally with a tree that, 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 that large, my price to cut down and haul away... now. It isn't, this isn't true across the board. Um, you know, I will cut a tree down and haul it away for $1,500 or even $1,000. I do try to charge a little more when I'm with my, when I'm using my chainsaw, there's always some danger to it. Um, even the most successful trained arborist, which I'm not, um, people get hurt or they die because, you know, cutting trees down is no joke. So, um, I always got to charge more, but, um, if a tree is as large as, as these trees are, I mean, I, I, again, I think the shortest one's 50 feet tall and they're big pines. It's, it's going to be a lot of work. Um, I charge to cut down and haul away. I charge $2,500. And the reason that is, is because, uh, you know, got to have the gear out there, such as the lift. You have to have multiple chainsaws, multiple chains. You have to have multiple guys to get it done in a timely manner. Uh, there's, there's some guys and gals, although I haven't, seen too many gals who are in the industry that I'm in and they work at a very slow pace. They want to make 60 grand a year. So they don't care if a job takes a week or two weeks because they've decided, Hey, I want to make this much money and they'd rather work comfortably and slowly than try to get as much as they can through the door as much as they possibly can. So, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'm not doing that. I want to make as much as I can ethically and reasonably as I possibly can. But for me to get this job done in a timely manner within five days, it's 17 trees. Hopefully I can do four trees a day um, as far as knocking them down and cutting them up. 
any minimum of four trees. Anyways, um, for me to do it quickly and have a, you know, um, just a timely service provided, I'm going to need to have at least five guys out there cutting and loading. You, you, we're going to have to get 40 yard roll offs. I'm going to have to use my trailer. It's just, it's a large, it's going to be a large, a costly operation to get it all done. Um, but having said that again, t with a tree that's 50 feet tall that I can cut down comfortably, they're not too close to the house, which is good. Um, so I feel safe about, it. I can, I can get my lift in there and position the lift and, and myself to where I can cut behind the tree and make it fall. Cause basically when, when you get that tall, I'm not confident enough to drop a 50 foot tree. If it was in the woods, it wouldn't matter. But in a neighborhood like this or next to houses like this, 50 feet goes a long way. So my philosophy is you go as high as you can in your lift, you cut down in a way and you either have someone or something sort of pulling on it so that as it goes, as it starts to go, before you cut it off, you get it going where you want it to drop before you actually cut it off. And then you just go down five to 10 feet each time, most likely it'll probably be five feet each time to, you know, knock it out. But again, the 50 foot tree, I mean, that's, that's close to 10 pieces of wood, large pieces of trunk that got to be moved and hauled away that are very heavy. These trees with a 40 yard roll off through Republic, which is kind of the big dog in the area, a 40 yard roll off, uh, it's basically $650 maxed out. The first 2,000 to 3,000 pounds is covered. These trees are probably three to 5,000 pounds. But if they're 5,000 pounds, the first two or 3,000 pounds are paid for. But then after that, it's probably 100 bucks per ton um, close to it. I mean, these trees are going to be very, very heavy. So there's 17 of them. So it's a large cost. It's, it's intense. Um, but having said that, normally I would charge $2,500 per tree to cut down and haul away stump removal, something else. Uh, I'll offer it, but I don't, that's not included anyways. Um, however, with this job, because it's 17 trees, I'm willing to discount a thousand dollars per tree. Again, I know I just said I don't discount anymore, but let me finish. I'm willing to discount a thousand dollars per tree because there's so much meat on the bone I can give the customer slash client a great deal and I'm still very profitable, extremely profitable. Uh, quick math in my head, which is probably wrong uh, as far as profit, but $1,500 times 17, it's right around $25,000. Um, if I give the guy 10%, which most of the time, you know, at a general contractor position, when somebody's managing a, pro a project, he or she just adds on 10 to 15% just for the pay of running the job, not doing the work per se. Anyways. Uh, so it, it would be appropriate of this gentleman to either tack on 10% or take 10% from me. I'm good either way. It doesn't matter. But uh, <clears throat> $25,000, if I give him 25%, basically it's $22,500, right? Yeah, whatever, something like that. And then after, you know, the cost of gear, the cost of labor, the dump fees, I'm probably going to make $15,000. Now, for some of you that watch this, if you, you know, barring the seven that watch it on a regular basis, appreciate you. Um, that may sound like a lot of money, but the truth is tree work is, is very dangerous. It's very difficult. It's very strenuous. Um, and and in, in all honesty, I'm probably underpaid. So, but for me, $15,000 with one job in a week's time, that's a lot of money. It's worth me discounting uh, substantially so. Uh, my service to the customer because I, it, it allows me to plug into a large amount of net revenue, net you know uh, gross profit that I otherwise wouldn't have. Which again, I don't need to have it. I want it, but I don't need to have it because I'm you know I've had a great had a great first quarter, having a great month this month. But this would really just launch me ahead. So even though I'm not going to discount any more per like individual jobs, like hey, I'll just take care of it for you. I'm always going to add on when it's appropriate and when it makes sense to. I will discount if it plugs me into a higher level of net revenue or gross revenue, gross profit. That's probably the better way to say it, net profit, whatever. Um, then if I, it, without doing it, I wouldn't have access to it. So if you're a business owner or you're trying to just do your own thing, don't, don't do discounts. I understand starting out, you got to be cheap. You got to get your name out there. I get it. But you're valuable. You're providing something of value. You're doing, the other day, a couple weeks ago, I made $108 in about five or 10 minutes cleaning, you know, half the gutters, by the way, interesting story. Um, that house was, is in the midst of a remodel. The, the construction crew they hired, you know, took off 
the far side of the gut, well, I don't know far side, maybe it's the west side of the house's gutters, north side, I don't know. Anyways, um, and water, you know, we had a real bad rain. They didn't have anything to divert the water. The gutters, your guttering system manages about 90% of the water. If it's, if the gutters are unclogged and the spouts are working correctly, it'll push away roughly 90% of the water that, that your house is going to be, you know, is going to interact with away from your foundation and it protects it. I mean, gutters are actually huge for the protection of your, of your foundation. And, you know, they, they had to take the gutters off because they're, you know, they're doing this construction, but they didn't have, they didn't have a mitigating force or system or something in the event that it rained. Of course it rained. Water hit the roof, fell down the side of the house. The, it, the, the yard, the terrain goes downhill. It, you know, you may not know this, but water goes to the lowest point. It literally, it flooded their whole downstairs. Their daughter's room was flooded. Everything was just, furniture was ruined because the, because they didn't have gutters. So make sure your gutters are clean. Make sure your downspouts are unclogged. It, it, it just, it's good to do. But um, even though I was up there for just five to seven minutes and I just cleaned that one side of the gutter, that made $180, some people may say, well, Zach, that's too expensive. What are you doing? And then it's just, it's just simply not true. One, the family's wealthy and they don't want to, or have the time to, or the desire to get up on the roof, nor should they. Um, and just by virtue that I showed up and was willing to get on the roof and do what they asked, that's worth $180. Also on a two level home, um, so not a ranch home, but a two level, I charge 250 to $275, depending on how big the house is, it can go up. So I'm not even charging them my whole rate on regular, on a regular basis because she's a good customer and I've She's one of my early customers. Anyways, my point is this. I'm not going to discount anymore unless it plugs me into higher streams of wealth, net wealth, net revenue, net net profit that I otherwise wouldn't access if I wasn't discounting. And also too, you know, maybe in the future if I start, people are like, hey, I heard about, you know, if I get the bid, hey, you did a great job with these 17 trees and all of a sudden we get three opportunities. Maybe I don't discount. Who knows? I, I, I'm not sure. I got to play it by ear. But my point is, it, it, if you're if you're thinking about yourself and and trying to get in and generate extra revenue, if it you shouldn't discount, you should stand by your price. In my opinion, unless in discounting some, it plugs you into more wealth than you otherwise would have if you didn't. So you got to work out your salvation with fear and trembling yourself. Anyways, like the content, like share, subscribe. If you've hated it, send it to someone you hate.